Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ladies Power Lunch. Thank you so much for joining us. I am always so excited to be with you all on the show. I want to say hi to everybody who's joining us over in our Facebook group. Hi, guys. So glad that you hopped on. And today we have a very special guest, Tanya Tyler, and she's going to be talking to us about one of the things that I think everybody should be taking advantage of. And if I could just hold you and like shake you and say, get a YouTube channel. If you don't already have one, I would, but that would also probably be a super bad idea. There. So instead of doing that, I have brought Tanya on to tell you, get a YouTube channel. And she's going to talk to you about why it's so easy and also why we all should be doing it. But as you know, Ladies Power Lunch, we're all about networking. We're all about getting to know each other on a different level so that we can intentionally support each other. And so I want to have the ladies who joined us who are so kind and so generous to spend this time with us today who joined us on the call i'd love to give them the opportunity to just share with us very briefly who are you and what are you doing in the world let's start with lynn lynn you want to hop on camera and just tell us what you have going on well yeah um lynn gallant i am a health and lifestyle educator uh, focusing right now on my clean crafted wine business um, and also to a YouTube show with my one of my partners here in crime, Dana Otrin. So um, we're here to get some inspiration and information from Tanya Tyler today. Awesome. Good, good, good. Perfect show for you to be on today, definitely. Yes. And congratulations, Lynn and Dina, on your new talk show. Very outstanding stuff. I just shared the most recent post that I saw into our Ladies Power Lunch group. Dina, will you hop on camera and just tell us who you are and what it is that you do? Sure. Hello, I'm Dina Otrin. I am a transformational life coach and licensed professional counselor and also one of the co-hosts of our new show called Silver Linings Talk Show on YouTube. So very excited to uh, talk with Tanya today. So you, what's the main reason that you hopped on to the show today? What was the piece of the topic that made it seem like this was a good way to spend your time? Well, that she is a YouTube expert and I am a YouTube beginner. So it was just a beautiful fit and any tips and anything, I'm so excited. Awesome, awesome. Good morning, Miss Lorraine. So Hello, happy to everybody. see you joining us here today. Can you share with us who you are and yeah. what you do? Thank you. My business is fabulous, begins at 50. I help women and men um, live a healthy, vibrant lifestyle. Why I'm here today is because <laughs> Dr. Davia uh, challenged me to do a 30 day lives, Facebook lives, which I'm finishing up with a couple of more um, and chose to use the alphabet. So I have all of these lives and things that I have done with other people and I don't know how to get them onto my YouTube channel. So I came on today so Tanya could tell me how to get them onto my YouTube channel. Beautiful. I am excited, Lorraine, that you're here. And welcome, Dawn. Good morning to you. I just timestamped us. And would you please unmute and just share with us who you are, what you do, and maybe say why this topic was important for you. Yes, thank you. Nice to see everybody today. Uh, my name is Dawn Eager Rizzo. My company is DRE Designs and I specialize in custom crystal jewelry designs using rare vintage and custom color palleted Swarovski crystals that I have color palleted in Europe for my line. And I integrate other elements like um, shells. So my line is, is, um, is quite unique. And I do um, private trunk shows, non-COVID. <laughs> and I also do a lot of custom design for ballroom dancers and brides-to-be and for um, uh, special occasions or everyday occasions. So the reason I'm here is I'm just familiar with some of the women in this group and um, I just think the energy is amazing. Um, so I'm drawn, I'm drawn to that, number one. And I've never even thought about you doing a YouTube um, channel. And so I'm very interested in hearing why you find that to be so valuable and how you would start doing that. And 
I'm just, I'm, I'm just very open to trying new things in my business. So Beautiful. Thank you. I love that. And so without further ado, ladies, 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 may we please welcome my dear friend, Tanya. Tanya, will you share with everybody who you are and what it is that you do? Well, Miss, Miss Dr. Divya, I, I want to first of all say thank you for this opportunity. I always love talking to you. You always bring such enthusiasm. <laughs> I love connecting with you. It's your energy is just flowing. Um, what I do, again, my name is Tanya Charlotte, and I am the host of Coffee with Tea. Um, I help people gain exposure because um, I see so many people struggling to get their message out. So my, my YouTube channel was dedicated to doing interviews and helping people get their message out because I think everyone has something important to say. So uh, that's how I started the whole channel. Um, uh, I, I just love I, having conversations and, and um, learning what people do because I think, like says, sometimes when they come on to do an interview, they first of all they're like, I don't even know why you chose me, and I'm like, and why not? Because you already have something to say. And then two, they always have so many layers that they don't even think about for their business or how they might even be able to use it. So just getting out there and getting um, to really get to know people and share their message and help them grow and expand. That's what I really love doing. So that's that's how Coffee with Tea got started on YouTube. And so it's been it's been an enjoyable ride ever since. So tell me, why did you choose YouTube as your medium for podcasts for your um, for your show? Well, um, I always wanted to get into YouTube because I always felt that there was a way to um, share your message on there. I know that you can always upload your videos. It's not like somebody has to go through and um, like on YouTube or, or on Facebook and keep going through unless they're like following you. It's kind of hard to follow up on YouTube. But if you're like on, I mean, uh, YouTube on Facebook, but if you're on YouTube, you have a channel, people can see all your videos right up there. So and it's always like a steady stream that they can always follow. So I thought well, if I'm going to do anything, Let's at least put it up on YouTube so people can find it. So that's that's why I created, I, I, I feel I had to be on YouTube. Awesome. So a lot of people don't realize it, but there is really no barrier to entry. There is nothing stopping anyone from putting out a YouTube video. Like you don't have to be great. You don't have to have long videos. You really there is nothing stopping anyone and I love to remind people that YouTube is the number two search engine in the world the number one search engine in the world is Google and guess who owns YouTube Google so if you have any kind of presence on any kind of social media channel also integrating YouTube makes sense just from the point of view of visibility. But I mean, you're the YouTube expert, Tanya. So tell people why you think YouTube is a good idea for just about any kind of business from, let's see who's on the call. We have a purveyor of fine wines. We have a psychotherapist. We have a person who's into health and wellness. We have somebody who's doing jewelry. Why would YouTube be an important platform for these kinds of businesses? First of all, I, I would love to say, because I when I started diving into really about YouTube, I did a lot of research and, you know, because when I get into something, I always try to research it like it's my next job. That's, that's you know, for me to understand, I'm like researching everything. So what I realized is like the aha moment, I think I've shared it with you before, is like, YouTube is nothing but like a search engine. So when you're putting up videos and stuff like that, you have to consider what people are looking for when they're going to be going for your content. So the biggest thing is like, how do you, and um, like when I present a video or if I talk to an interview person, it's always like, what question or what, what would somebody put in the search engine to find that video? So that's always the one thing when I'm always designing a video is like, what problem am I solving? And if we're business owners, that's what we do. We solve problems, you know? So it's a no brainer that, you know, if you're gonna do a business, why not put it on YouTube? It's the number one search engine. So if people are looking for your business, whatever you solve, why not put it on YouTube so they can find you? And so one of the gentlemen that I interviewed, he shared, he said he shares the three A's. He says, awareness, attention, and authority. So you can capture, so people are look, say they're looking for fine wine. So now their peaked interest is like, how can I find a good wine person? So what they're going to put in Google, Google's going to show up, you know, 
wines. And if you have a YouTube and a Google search, you know, website, that's two right there that puts you right on top. So that brings you to the attention of people. So then you're, you're, you're capturing the, the awareness, the attention, and then the authority because you already do it. You're the expert of whatever your, your, your business is. So the text, it texts out three A's. You said your awareness, your attention, and your authority. So it's, it's like, know what you're on there to solve. And remember that when you're posting a video, you're trying to solve the question for the person to search for you. You know, so it's like, what question would somebody put in the search engine to find my video? That's that's like the biggest thing you should be considering when you're doing your videos. And I think for us as business people, that's the question that we should all be asking ourselves always because that's what determines what our messaging sounds like and how our ideal clients will hear us. What is the problem or the challenge that our customer is facing that we're going to be able to solve. For example, for Dawn, um, just singling you out, Dawn, because I'm looking right at you, you're solving the problem for a new bride who is getting her wedding together and she wants something unique and beautiful to stand out in her wedding pictures. So you're gonna be making something beautiful for her that's going to be made from imported vintage crystals. I mean, there's nowhere else that she's gonna be able to get that in the world except from you. And so you're solving that question, that problem and being able to answer that question in the Google search by putting your video up there, that's going to be really really outstanding that makes perfect sense so i mean we this is a topic tanya that we've talked about before and i feel like we could talk about this for a very long time because getting a youtube channel that is robust and also that has great viewership is something that we should all strive for what are the do's what do you think we should all be doing as far as our youtube channels go I say the first thing is definitely start by researching YouTube. I mean, they, they, when you start your channel, they have this thing called the dashboard. They tell you all of the insights on how to create and grow your business. I mean, they give you all of the tools on how to grow your business. So Can you the best imagine thing you, they told us everything? They tell you everything <laughs> on how to grow your business and they're constantly coming up with content. So check out those views, check out the videos that they put out there. And then here's another thing they do get this, that YouTube will send you a, a weekly or a monthly newsletter to tell you how your channel is doing. And get this, they'll tell you what top searches are the trending topics that you can create your videos around. So they'll tell you like, if like say for the month of, you know, um, I think during the month of October last year, it was big on um, uh, personal awareness. Uh, what do you call it? Um, mental, your mental. Um, mental health. Mental health, mental health was a big object. So what they did was they put it in the newsletter. Look, if you want to grow your channel, talk about, tub, tub, you know, subjects about mental health and they give you hashtags. So they're telling you how to grow your business in oh. your newsletters and in your news feeds and in your dashboards. But a lot of people just get on there and they don't pay attention. They don't do the research to see what the channel is actually doing because the whole point is, hold on, baby. Um, YouTube is going to get, they're trying to get, uh, views. They want people to stay on there. So if your content is going to grab people uh, attention to stay on there, they're going to keep showcasing you information because people are researching for the information. So Google or YouTube is going to make their money off of the people who are watching the video. So they're going. If you keep having content that has people on their view, and they're going to put you out there because you're doing what they're mm -hmm. asking you to do. That's a beautiful thing. It's good to know. So I have to admit, have to absolutely admit. I am one of those people who I do not get through my email. My email is, it's a, it's a sore subject with me. And so I have to tell you the truth, Tanya, I have not been reading my YouTube newsletters. So my big takeaway from today is to go get my YouTube newsletters and take a look because I'm gonna find all the hashtags that I need in there. I'm gonna find out what the trending topics are. It might even influence what we end up talking about on Ladies Power Lunch show. And so, this is really, really great information. What else should we be doing? <laughs> what else? Tell us, Tanya. I, I would definitely say collaborate with other YouTubers. Don't think that you have to do it all of your loan. I mean, 
think about it, we're all on YouTube. We're all trying to get views. So if you can pull from one YouTuber over here for another YouTuber over there, you're actually collaborating. You're growing momentum for your channels both together. So it's not like a competing a source. You should be thinking about YouTube as a collaborative partner because like I said, if I can pull in Dina talking about her wine on my interview shows, I'm actually giving her her a view. She's getting views on me. So it's like, this is a project that can grow for both of you. So stop thinking that we're all competing on each other because we're not. I mean, you're going to specialize in what you do. I specialize in what I do, but we can work together to grow our channels together. Now, Tanya, you're speaking my <laughs> language. I love collaboration so much that I wrote a whole entire book about it. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. I am so about it. You don't even understand the sort of growth that you can get when you get together. And so having Lynn and Dina on my YouTube show is a great idea. And vice versa and every single time i do a show and we have a special guest i always put your name in our search tags so that you can be found when you're looking when people are looking for you my show comes up and likewise when people are looking for me your show will come up so it's it's really it's really a good idea to stay focused on that idea of collaboration. I, I want to add one thing before we get off because I want to share this with you. Another great thing you can do on YouTube and a lot of people don't think about it. When you have a show, so you, you and I have done shows before. I've been on your show. If you add me to your playlist, it helps you on your viewer list. So the biggest thing you can do is add a show to their person's playlist because not only do they get eyeballs on what you do, they get, you know, you're sharing content. So you can create playlists and eat and keep adding other content from each other. So like I said, it's a collaborative partnership. It's not something that you have to go alone. Well, I'm going to make a note of that to add playlists because this, this, is, this is a great idea and it's something that I actually have not been doing. So absolutely great idea. Let's talk about don'ts. What should we be avoiding when we're doing our YouTube channels? What sort of things have you been seeing people doing and you're like, oh, maybe not? <laughs> um, I would say the biggest thing is don't go for the, um, for the likes. Don't just do it for the likes. You know, do it for why you, what you're on there to do because when you do it for what you're doing, you'll stay consistent. If you're doing it just for the likes or the views or, or whatever you're trying to do, you're, you're going to fizzle out because it doesn't grow. It, it won't grow overnight. This is like they always say, it's a marathon. So you have to put in the work. You have to put in effort. And sometimes I'll, I'll kid you, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to do it because it's so much work. But I always keep in mind, and sometimes I have like-minded friends on you too who struggle the same way I do to say, remember, Tanya, why you started it. So it's like they always remember your your why, why you started it. It's got to be greater than what you're looking for, for like viewership. It's a, a, a like, and you know, I take a subscriber, don't get me wrong, but it's just a vanity point because you're going to, if you really enjoy what you're doing, just like you do for your business, you're going to do it whether you have one one subscriber or if you have 50,000 subscribers so the count doesn't matter the views on your channel doesn't matter because you never know when that one one video might be the thing that takes you over the edge but if you're doing what you love you're going to do it no matter what awesome I want to again just give a shout out to our friends and members who are joining us over on our ladies power lunch facebook group um different kinds of businesses you know we have crystal over there she makes jewelry um she's also a miss connecticut we have Anne marie who is a graphic designer we have marianne pack who is an oracle she's also a coach and we have linda quite a few members joining us over there any kind of businesses that maybe YouTube is not for them, or would you say YouTube could be for everybody? Um, I say I think if you, the thing is to be creative, and I would say stop comparing yourself to what everybody else is doing because if you can find your own uniqueness, that's what's going to be the thing that draws people into what you do. So, like I said, I when I started my uh, my YouTube channel, I studied YouTube. 
but I didn't study what other people were doing on the interview show. Because if I looked at what everybody else was doing, I'd be like, oh, there's so many other interviewers out there. Nobody's going to see my stuff. And I would have got discouraged already from the beginning. So I didn't look at what they did. I focused on what did I want to do and how to bring my personality through and how do I, how do I channel what I enjoy doing. So that's, that would be the focus. Don't compare yourself to what other people are doing. And if you feel like, you know, YouTube is not, don't, don't get on it just because everybody tells you to do it. Like I said, find your niche, be, be creative with it. Think out the box. That's what I always say. I do interviews and, and I'm not saying that, you know, people are going to gravitate to, you know, YouTube to watch interviews. I'm not saying that I don't do music videos. You know, I don't, I, you know, I'm not a big gravitate, you know, people don't jump on there. It's like, I'm going to watch the other interviews. But what I do is when I do my interviews, I bring my personality through so people can get to know who I am through the, you know, my vid interviews, you know, so they, I get a lot of feedback. It's like, I get a lot of say, oh, great interview. I love what you do, but it's always about time. Your, your energy was off the chain. I love how your energy was. So your personality can shine through your videos. You can custom create your videos for your personality. So people get to know, because like you said, people will do business with people they know, like, and trust. So if they get to know who you are through your videos and the personality that they get to see, they're like, oh, you know, she's fun. I like watching. I might even watch her videos, but you know, they might watch my videos because they like the enthusiasm I have. Then maybe they need somebody to have to pick me up, you know? And by the way, they might even get some out of the videos, the interview. So, you know, just be you on it. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Let your your you know your energy shine through because that's the biggest that's what's gonna be draw people in. I have a few questions, um, and I really definitely want to get into them. We have some questions over on our Facebook group and definitely some questions here in the chat. I would like for you to talk about something that stops people from getting onto YouTube, from getting onto any kind of media, that fear of being on video. Can you talk a little bit about that and explain why we should just forget about the fear and do it anyway? <laughs> um, I would say um, when I, I had a fear, I'm not going to say I was out there right away getting on videos. And a lot of these, if you see my channel, you don't see a lot of solo, you don't see a lot of my solo stuff and I'm still working on it. But what I realize is that my message was bigger than my fear and what I had to put out there really would help somebody so when I get the interviewers on they share nuggets of how to grow their business how could I not put that out there they like I, I think I shared it with you it's like they tossed me the little egg you know this is my message I want to share and I'm thinking I'll say you thank you for giving me your message now I got to be able to put it out there so what I did was I researched YouTube so I can get people to see the message you know what I'm saying so I got better on YouTube, not because of me, but because people gave me their message to share. So I, I put the, the passion for other people out there, which helped me become stronger. Cause I get, you know, every time I put it out there and I see somebody's leg in a comment or whatever, I'm like, <sighs> but then I was like, you know what? That's not a, you know, I am, what they say, uh, what's her name? Uh, Dr. Brene Brown says, I'm in the arena, I'm playing. So, you know, you can criticize me all you want, but I got the video out there. So, you know what, pish posh if you have your own opinion, you know, I'm gonna do me anyway. So the more you do it, the more confident you get, the better, you, you know, you start putting that little stuff to the side, like whatever, that's noise. You're over criticizing me. If you didn't like how I do it, then you know what, you do the video. <laughs> awesome. So I, I see some comments here in the chat. Lynn is saying, ah, I like hitting on the pain points. <laughs> Lorraine is saying, can you tell us how to get our lives from the Facebook profile into the YouTube? Lorraine, that's super easy. You go onto Facebook, you click on the video. You have, I think it's easier to do it from your desktop. You click on the video and you'll see three little buttons in the corner and that'll give you the opportunity to download the video. Usually what I do is I like to save a copy of all my videos and if you have an external hard drive that makes it a whole lot easier when you have a lot of content. But just download the video onto your computer and then upload it to your YouTube channel and that's the easiest way to get it done. That way you. You, you always have your videos. Anybody else have any questions for our dear friend, Tanya? You can hop on, hop off mute and just ask her whatever you want to, because she's here. Dawn, go ahead, please. Well, first of all, I just wanted to thank you. And it was cute because when um, Dr. Davia said, 
tell us ta Tanya. I thought that would be a really cute uh, thing for you is tell us Tanya, you know, and, and I don't know, that just really caught me. I thought it was very catchy, but the energy around that. But I don't have a, um, because I do events um, typically, and I sell to boutiques, I, I am just starting to do a website now. I have, I don't have a website. So for people that, um, like I have videos from doing, you know, as I said, uh, different events like pageantry, doing uh, ballroom dancing events. And I could put those up with describing what I do and what my specialties are. But I don't have a website to refer people to me or how do people connect with people that don't have a website? Do you have an idea about that? Um, yes, Ms. Don. I mean, when I started my channel, I didn't have a website either, but I did have a Facebook page so I, the, okay. or a Facebook group. So you can, wherever you refer them to is where they, they will go. So you don't okay. have to have a website. Okay, great. Awesome. That is actually a really, really great idea. If you're on Instagram, if you're on LinkedIn, wherever you are, you can just send them there and they will find you, connect with you and buy your stuff, I think. Dina, I noticed that you unmuted. Did you have a question, comment, concern? Just a comment when you brought up the question of fear. And I remember like in 2017, I started my first YouTube channel, which is An Empowered Life. And that's where I did some interviews and just some of my own recordings. And for about a year, I was scared to death to do it because of putting yourself out there so large. And I literally heard two podcasts that just flipped the switch. One, the person said, embrace failure because it's going to happen. You will never do everything 100% correct. And then the second pod podcast within the same week said, if you don't try, you've already failed yourself. Those two comments were life-changing for me. That's where the, the light switch changed and my worry and anxiety about it literally went away. Is I had permission now to embrace failure and that it's okay if I don't get it perfect. And I just really wanted to share that because I've shared that with other people and they found that really helpful in their own place of being afraid to start something. I appreciate that so much, Dina. Tanya, what do you think about that? I think uh, Dina hit it, hit the nail on the head. I mean, like I said, is you you have to we have to be afraid, you know, not be afraid to fail. Cause like I said, we're all you're gonna you're gonna fail. My videos in the beginning were not pretty. I, I'm <laughs> I wouldn't even recommend people to really see the first videos, but then there's a valuable message. So I mean, I would I have to still direct you to go, but. The, to me, they're ugly, but, you know, I was first starting out. So, I mean, I didn't start, you know, what I have now, and, and this is what I always say to myself, my day 88 should not look like my day one. So that's why I say right. always work to improve on what you're working on. Research what you need to do to research what you need to, you know, learn. And, and, and don't be afraid to fail and try and try new things. That's the biggest thing. Like I said, Ms. Dina hit, hit the nail on the head. I love your comment, Dina, and I think it applies to us in pretty much all the areas of yes. our business where we serve, where we yeah. serve, where we are being in service. My idea of what being in service means no. is giving just because of the pleasure of giving with no I would, I would even go so far as to say no desire for anything in return, just for the absolute pleasure of giving. That sounds so crazy, but really and truly, I find that when I approach any project, anything with that attitude, it can never fail. Like zero times has it ever failed when that is my approach. And I would also say that surprise, surprise, there have been moments when I have been afraid of doing something or embarking on something. And I'll always remember one of our members, Anne Shabani, she said to me when I was talking to her about publishing my book, she said to me, how dare you not publish your book? Because yes, there are other people who have talked about things like this before. Like Tanya says, there are other people who are doing interview shows, but there's no other you. And there is somebody out there who needs to hear the message that you have to share. There's a bride out there who needs to see you on YouTube, Don, showing your jewelry. 
there's somebody out there, Lorraine, whose health and wellness today is depending on seeing your ABCs. Dina, I know for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, there are people out there who need to hear about mental health issues being addressed in your signature loving way. And Lynn, we all need wine. It's just a thing that we need. So everybody needs you. I am so grateful to you all for joining us today. Tanya, always such a pleasure talking to you. It just fills my heart with such joy to see your beautiful shining face. What do you have going on? What are you promoting today? What can you share with us? I am promoting my uh, YouTube. I mean, my well, first of all, my YouTube channel. But no, I mean, truly, I'm I'm sending you to my uh, website, confidencestrides.com. You can see all of the YouTube channel um, interviews that come up off of there, and also you can, if you're into the podcast, you can actually hear the podcast as well. So that's confidencestrides.com. Um, and what I'm actually growing into now is helping other women create healthy habits, get past their, distra their distractions. So if you're interested in that, contact me, you know, DM or contact Dr. Davia. And, but we have, um, a f I'm doing a facilitated group. So we're all group, you know, helping each other get past of our, our, our hangup. So if you want to like jump out there and say, you know, I'm ready for the YouTube, but I'm afraid then hop in the group, check us out. You know, that's what we're here I for to that. encourage each other. I Would love you repeat that. your website? I apologize. Excuse me. It's confident strides. It's confident, like confident woman, strides, like Walker. I'm an I'm a avid walker, so confidentstrides.com. Thank you. Beautiful. And we have a comment from Crystal in the chat. Crystal says, how dare you hide your light and not share your message with the world? I, I feel like that's the perfect note on which to end our show today. You know, Tanya, you're going to have to come back. So just <laughs> mark your calendar at some time to show up because chatting with you is always such a joy. Ladies, it's been an honor to have you spend this half hour with us. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next show. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.